Hello everyone! I love a good damask print, and this one I worked on has a reptilian twist. When you can't find a certain pattern that you're looking for, might as well just make your own, right? I've already done a light pencil outline first, but because pencil doesn't show up that well in video, I've gotten that step out of the way, and I'm just going to do the inking and color for you guys. For the outline, I'm using a Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen in rose gold. My snake is going to be in the center of my damask shape, so I'm starting with an S-curve and then doing a figure eight underneath to form the scrolling center of the design. Once I have my snake shape done, I'm using a clear ruler to mark the center at the widest width and this will help with symmetry as I add flourishes at the sides. I'm just marking this lightly with a pencil. Now using that vertical center line I'd already marked before with pencil, I'm using that as a guide to add a leaf shape centered at both the top and bottom. I also used a ruler to mark two equidistant lines on each side of my vertical center pencil line. This helps me determine the widths for the curved stems that are coming out from the top and bottom as well. I'm using these guidelines to provide symmetry and measurement, though the design is not going to be identical on each side. This clear ruler is great because you can see your other lines through it as you create your new guides. I found it in the sewing and quilting supplies, but I use it for drawing all the time. I'm basically making a coloring book page that I'll fill in afterward with Prismacolor pencil. Both Prismacolor pencils and these artist pens show up really great on black paper. Now I've chosen my color palette. Coloring on black paper 
you use your pencils a little differently than you would on white paper. It's kind of like doing things in reverse. You press softer, actually, in areas where you want a shadow so that you see the black through the color, and you shade harder in areas that you want to be lighter so that you get solid coverage of your bright color. In each area, I'm adding darker values first and then blending over with my brighter values. As I fill in these leaves, I'm pressing softer near the veins to get a deep inner shadow. The paper I'm using has a crosshatch texture. It's really meant for pastels, but this is giving me a really cool effect that almost looks like embroidery.
Now for the scales, I'm just adding to the pattern, not shading them all the way in because I still wanna see some black through and get some intricate line work. As I add my pattern, I'm just following the shape of the scallops and lines I've created over the body. With my main damask element done, all that's left is to scan it and then do an offset repeating pattern, which I've done effortlessly right in Redbubble. If your design is already centered on your background, then it's no trouble at all to get a nice even repeating pattern. Also, because I have left my background just a solid plain color, you don't see any of the seams in between the rectangles as it repeats. I love the look of this and I'm definitely going to do more illustrations on black paper for the future, so keep watch. I can't wait to actually order myself a shirt or dress with this design on it. Thank you for watching and as always if you have any questions about the process or anything else, shoot them my way. And be sure to check out my Redbubble site for my other designs.